seconds down on the clock until warm up is over and we can get this match underway. Auto director. Uh, we gotta set that command actually, now that I think of it. Alright, so we do have auto director on. We do have it available. Shots are going back and forth, and it's about time to get this party started, ladies and germs. Now, once again, this is the first time we've done Matchmaking Monday in about, I want to say, man, it's been a long time since November, so April or May was the last time we did that. So five, six months, if I'm doing my month math, month math correctly. <laughs> Anyone does miss that slice, Market Cop is going to go ahead and chop him down. Chaos trades him out for Salon. Yes, we are going to go ahead and shotcast this knife round. Market Cop is playing the trains down like a pro. We've been playing Counter Strike for a little bit. Already at the Gold Nova Master, but he did D rank recently. Chaos Squinty and Alpha Thought by themselves. Nanners does get a left click in. Chaos just goes right in, gets destroyed. Market Cop's gonna go take down Nanners. Alpha Thought can possibly win this, but it's not gonna happen. Dito does take him down. And we're gonna go ahead and see which teams are gonna opt for what sides. And I'm gonna be casting this solo, by the way, so. Yeah. Is there team damage? I'm pretty sure there is. I don't remember. Nanner's team did win that round, I believe. So it looks like they're going to go ahead and offer CT. First pistol round. It's like, see, Tank Jesus is the only person who didn't buy. It looks, like he, it looks like he just bought a pistol. CT's already setting up in a default, but the T's are already heading. Looks like, looks like towards Pop Dog. Oh, Markov does get a lot of information right now. He does see that the bulk of the T side is lingering in upper. But they are slowing down rapidly. Alpha Thought Chaos, A1, and Satanic Jesus all ready to just explode on this B site. Alpha Thought puts the smoke down. But CT's already rotated over to B site. I'm not sure if they're ready for this. A1 gets a headshot on the marker cop. Chaos just getting blasted. No teammates there to back him up. Anyone gets a second one. Potato Nanners, though, are coming around in the flank. <coughs> it's Dito Dubias right behind him. Takes down Alpha Thought. And now we're on a 2v2 situation. Mr. Quack holding tight. And A1 behind Nanners. He's going to go for the knife kill. He's not going to get it, unfortunately. Mr. Quack does take his head off. Dude, Bias, trying to go ahead and chop him up. It's not going to happen. The knives are out. The duel is going on, and everyone's just going to go ahead and get the 3K. T's are going to go ahead and take the first round of this exhibition match here on Matchmaking Monday. What a play. That was awesome. <laughs> Mr. Quack, by the way, also known as Dylan, a.k.a. in the chat, uh, he is... He's from the UK, so he's playing, uh, he's playing with the 100 ping. And I'm getting a potential scam. People will try to add me on Steam right now. CT's opting for the save so they can buy next round. Just holding fast right this moment. Market Cop does have a Zeus, though. Cheeky little play if you can get that pick. But it looks like once again, T's are going to go ahead and stack up for a B execute. Smoke does go down. Sloth ready on sight. Hearing all this noise, Alpha Thought takes down Market Cop immediately. And Chaos is just going to go ahead and swing around. Takes off Coach of Sloth's head. Dito to Bias on the flank. But it's only Nanners and Dito. I don't think there's too much that they're going to be able to do at this kind of position. Nanners gets immediately taken down. They know where Dita Tobias is. I'm pretty sure this is going to go ahead and secure the T's second round, which it does. Oh, 
There's no sponsor chips from site. No, I don't need that. Marker cop gonna go ahead for the aggressive peak. They don't see anything. Potato with the Nova trying to go ahead and get a pick. Dito holding down connector. Does spot A1 butter. Slot's gonna have to go ahead and back out of that position correctly, like fast. Slot for the headshot on the Satanic Jesus. Chaos is gonna go ahead and shut down Marker Cop and takes down Sloth with a two piece. Alpha Thought trying to go ahead and just pepper these guys with the MAC 10. A lot of damage on the T's right now. A1 down to 29. Chaos down to 7. Tits taken down by Potato. $900 in his bank account. Alpha Thought barely escapes with his life with only 3 HP. <coughs> it's a 2v2 situation. Dito does have the M4. A1 just lingering. Trying to see if anyone gets aggressive. And they look like they're going to go ahead and A split. <coughs> And Alpha Thought is ready for Dito to bias. <coughs> for Dito Biase, shall I say. Potato armed with the Nova gets one kill. <coughs> Nova to the head of A1. Has so much money already. Invested so much cash and has 4650. Four seconds left to plant the bomb. And Alpha Thought's not going to be able to do it. That's going to go ahead and give CTs their first round. Potato, the hero of the round, and he has a boatload of money. He could definitely buy another person in M4, maybe even two people in M4. What a play. It's gonna be some tricky play. Potato blasting away the pistol. Default setup goes. Nanners with the late buy. And T's are already looking to make their way towards B once again. It was working before. They decided to change it up. And it's not going to work now. Sloth trying to get aggressive. Does get Satanic Jesus. He's going to go ahead and rotate back over to B site. And the T's are currently just getting picked up. Marker Cop gets a pick on the Chaos Squinty. B site right now is holding impenetrably. Dito has a really good position. He is knocked down to 16 HP. But Alpha Thought with the perfect timing does take down Dito to bias in the head. Tato returning some damage over him. And Nanners is here on A site to go ahead and back him up. T's definitely need to go ahead and turn this around. They need to get in another pick. But look at Potato. Potato is already on the lurk. The CTs. Oh, the potato does get spotted, though. And Quack is ready for him. They keep playing. They're dancing around right now. Dancing around this ballroom. And Marker Cop is ready. Sloth in a really good position as well. A1 does get a pick. Sloth gets taken down. Or Sloth takes down Alpha Thought, though. 2v3 situation. The bomb should go down. And it is going to get planted. The retake, 3v2. Sloth getting good damage on it on to Mr. Quacky. The potatoes are with a flake. He is going to go ahead and wrap around. CTs are going to go ahead and secure their second round of this match here on Matchmaking Monday. That's a great play from Potato to go ahead and lurk from T side all the way coming through. Upper through lockers, dancing with Quack near the showers, and finally pushing over on a B site from, from Upper and helping secure that round. Bolts with an amazing play as well. Some great marksmanship, even though he he was only knocked down to less than you know 10 HP or so. Outstanding play overall. I thought. 
Gets dinked. Trades some damage with Mark Cop. Both equally, actually. 74 damage each. It's like they uh, punch each other in the arm, but with a 7-6-2 round. Dia to Bias showing some aggression, trying to get some of that map control on the blue. Let's see Tanny Jesus. A1 just holding fast. We don't want them talking in here. A1 with a beautiful headshot on a market cop. That's going to go ahead and pry this bomb site open. Gets a 2K. Coach Loth gets taken down. And the CTs are going ahead and try to immediately rotate over here. Nanners trying to come up with the dirty flank. Chaos Squinty is ready for him, though. And Chaos is going to go ahead and shut that down immediately. But Dino's coming in! And Potato coming in hot! Chaos has one more kill that he needs to secure. And he's not going to get it to tease. Saved by Chaos Squinty. Chaos Squinty on the victory lap. Gets the skins because skins equals wins. And tees are going to go ahead and 3 to 2. Decent amount of money on the CT side, but they're going to have to go and force into this so they can attempt to reset the T's. Whereas the T's do not have the best buy. Three AK-47s, armor on everybody, but not utility. Satan so Jesus kind of running off with the, without buying any grenades. That could definitely bite them in the booty. A1 is just going off right now. Currently sitting at the top with eight kills, along with Chaos. These two are just entry fragging monsters right now. The corners are check. Alpha thought coming in with the deep flank. Nanners trades him out immediately, but he's getting a 2k. Does get A1 butter as well. Chaos Winnie ready for the flank. Takes, does take down Marka Cop. 2v3 situation. Both CTs. Oh, Coach Shalot takes down Satanic Jesus. What a kill. He wants more. TV2 situation. Nanner's on one HP. Oh, he makes it work. Oh, my goodness. Nanner's on one HP. <coughs> Still fighting extremely hard. Chaos Squinty once again has to clutch the round for his team. Sloth gets taken down. He does take down Chaos Squinty to 16 HP. Nanner's on one. Oh my goodness. He's going to turn the timing is off. Oh. But Nanner's does hear him. He's going to hear the plant. He does hear the smoke. He doesn't realize it's a fake. And Chaos is going to turn the corner. And it doesn't matter, Nanner's. Freaking clutches that round. What a play from Nanner's. Oh my gosh. 7,600 in the bank. Wow. That was nuts. Hunter just going off of this game. Insanity. That's what it is. Oh, Bananas has an op now, too. Now everyone has to be careful. Everyone needs to be... On alert. Oh, he sees Alpha Thought's foot. Shoots him right in the foot, man. Tato just finishes off Alpha Thought. Chaos. Oh, dropping the bomb right before leaving T-Con, but does get taken down. Dito Tobias pushes a little further. He may see that he has bomb control. But as of right now, CT is showing an impenetrable wall in their defense. Well, except for Potato. Satan Jesus does take him down. But is he going to be ready for Dino to block? Oh, no! Dino Tobias just trying to go for the Zeus kill. He's trying to meme on Satanic right now. And they know exactly where the last player is. But it doesn't matter. Nanner's going to go ahead and close the round out. Four to three. Team Nanner's just going ham right now with these SMGs. Easy money.
Another pistol buy coming from the T's. Couple Deagles, Tech 9, CZ, and P. Oh. Sloth was ready for Satanic Jesus, but I can't say the same for Marker Cop. The grenade goes in, tries to get max damage potential. Does get another kill. A1 goes down with the headshot. Nanners is there with the reinforcements from Tcon or for Connector. And Sloth is just shutting this site down. Potato coming in from the rear. <coughs> Flying kill on a KS Squinty. And the CTs are just not holding anything back right now. Especially on these eco rounds. A little bit of a money situation. Everyone can buy on uh, on the terrorist side, including A1. Utility might be a little weak. Satanic Jesus once again not buying any utility whatsoever. That's gonna that could potentially be the turning point why you know their team's not really doing too well. He's one in seven. He hasn't played the game in a while, but I mean you gotta remember utility is everything in competitive for sure. Not just raw aim, but you know, if you want, if you're playing tactical and you're trying to, you know, do teamwork, you need to be able to utilize that utility. Oh, potato, potato in a really advantageous position, but it doesn't matter. Chaos just takes him down with the AK-47. Shot to the dome. Marker cop in with a flank. Misses the first shot in the op, and now. They have three T's licking towards him. Titan Jesus is going to go ahead and get a second kill of the game on the Game Force Marker Cop. And Cass Squinty just killing dude to the bias. This Ivy Strat has worked out beautifully, but is the grenade going to get a kill? It does not. The Molly goes in. Satanic Jesus just in the angle. He does get another kill on a Sloth. 2k for Satanic Jesus. T's are going to go ahead and find a round after the CTs have stolen away three. They saw that B did not work out. I mean, they only they were on eco bias for the last, like, two rounds. Just pistols. But they decided to go ahead and push Ivy. They had dominant control over. They took advantage of Potato. And they managed to go ahead and make it work. Nanner's trying to go in with that aggressive peek. Trying to beat Satanic Jesus to the punch. And he does. Satanic Jesus. I, he must have just been completely blind right now. If Ray Charles was playing the game, man, that was it. Okay, Skinty with the flash. Flashes himself in. Tato trying to go ahead and spam that smoke. And now Chaos Quinty is in a really good position right now. And Nanners knows it too. He heard the second smoke. Potato is there ready. And he does get the headshot on the Chaos. Chaos was not expecting such a tight angle, unfortunately. Sloth. Just going ham this game. He's trying to start the season undefeated. And he only needs... Nine more rounds to make it so. CTs reset the T economy. Satanic Jesus with 7,400. He needs to buy some deagles or something for his teammates. So Coach Slaw just getting really aggressive. Does take down Alpha Thought. He's just going to go ahead and fall back. Here's Marker Cop to go ahead and back him up. Marker Cop and Bolt just holding down the B site right now. And T's just have no idea what to do. CT's are on the double op setup. D Bias holding one. Nanner's obviously holding a second. But there's not really anything that can be done right this moment. Satan Jesus trying to go ahead and lurk in a pop dog. Sneak right down. Hopefully he can make something happen. Potato and Dito are both going to get picks. 
Dito takes down A1. And the bomb is in Mr. Quacky's hands. The man from the island across the pond, the UK, all by himself in this 1v5 impossible situation, looking at the dead bodies. Dito already knows exactly where Quack is. Does take one hit. And Nanner's gonna go ahead and finish it finish it off. CT's up seven. Two four. Oh baby, yep, that is it right. Gaming guys. I just sent you the IP if you wanna connect to that. You can pop in the lobby, I'll drag you up here if you want to cast. So Tad Jesus once again trying to challenge Nanners, but he slow peeks at the wrong angle and gets punished for that. Dear Bias sees the gun and he does take down Chaos and Pop Dog. CTs are just completely dominating this T side right now. Team Chaos just has no idea what to do. It doesn't seem like there's really any communication. And everybody's split up trying to play for a pick. You know, the T's like all of their success on Team Chaos has happened when they just exploded on a site and cleared it out. When they had five versus two situations or five versus three situations, it worked out every single time. Sloth is going to go ahead and take down Quack. And we have Alpha Thought in a 1v5 situation. Impossible odds right now for the Cloud9 fan, for the, for the Game Arena fanatic. I mean, at the moment, so I'm good. All right. And Alpha Thought's going to get taken down. Eight to four. A one and chaos had such a strong start in this T side, and everything's just been falling apart. Alpha Thought trying to go ahead and get some really good positioning right off the bat. Does hear Dito Tobias on the ladder. Nanner's playing a much different position than last time. And once again, it looks like the T side's about to go ahead and explode onto Ivy, but Nanner's repositions and gets a great shot. Potato spots literally the entire terrorist army. And Marker Cop's going to go ahead and rotate to the other side of Ivy. So they can pretty much just pincer move these guys. Marker Cop does chuck their grenade. He does re rotate. Chaos does take down Potato. It doesn't matter. A1 trying to struggle for these kills. He wants them real bad. Oh my goodness, A1 blasts his Nanner's face off while he's blind. And Market Cop actually only gets taken down by Satanic Jesus. 3 HP. Market Cop does make the little quick peek, takes down Satanic Jesus. Thanks him for uh, giving him a haircut and knocking him down to 3 HP. Terrorists need to get these two rounds to get their morale back high so they can go ahead and get on the CT side feeling strong. Once again, T's are going to go ahead and split up. We know what happens when they split up. Things. Oh, A1 is not ready for this. Oh, Nanner sees A1, but I'm not sure if A1 saw him. <coughs> oh. 
Oh, he turns around the worst timing. And A1 takes down the sloth. Hasn't been done all day. It doesn't matter. Marker Cops just taking everybody out. 3v2 situation. Nanders and Dito all by themselves. Dito trying to hold him from the heaven position. And Nanders trying to hold his own on B. And Alpha Thought's going to go ahead and take down Dito to bias Nanders. Is he feeling bold right now? If he's, he, Is he going to go for the 3k? Oh, there's one. Here's A1. Quack is feeling it very aggressive. He peeks at the wrong moment. But A1 saves the round, takes down Nanners again. Two rounds in a row, saves the op. 9 5. T's needed this round desperately. A1 can go ahead and either hold on to that gun or buy somebody else with a rifle. AWP. Probably drop Quack on AK 47. But that doesn't look like it's going to be the, the case. What a clutch by A1, but is he going to go ahead and take down Nanners? That's the real question. <laughs> He's trying to go for that cheeky peek. A1 trying to show us what he can do with the AWP. Oh, what a flash. A1 knows exactly what is on Nanders' mind. Oh, he can't flick up in time. Unfortunately, Dito catches A1 at the perfect timing. And someone's going to have to go ahead and recover that AWP. Alpha Thought does take down Dito. But he's in a very bad position right now. Alpha Thought can eat. Oh, my goodness, the timing. And Alpha Thought does not see Nanners in time. I don't think he even expected him to be here. Chaos just be hopping terribly out on the site and gets punished for that severely. Dear Tobias, or Satanic Jesus, and Mr. Quacky. Not gonna happen. CTs are gonna end the first half 10. Team Nanners up. Chaos at five rounds. What a rough moment for Team Chaos. Alrighty, let's see if their CT is gonna be CT side is gonna be a lot better than the others. Looks like they're playing two B. One's gonna go ahead and split off in the T con and looks like looks like we're gonna be looking at a B execute. From the T's. Smoke goes out, the execute is in. Alpha thought hearing all this noise, calling the rotate, gets one headshot. Is he going to get the second one? No, he does not, but the rest of the CCs are here. Chaos gets one. Goon does not get the second one. And now we're on a 3v1 situation. Potato all by himself on the opposite side. Gets another kill. Alpha Thought goes down. <coughs> oh, he's going to go ahead and... Is he going to go ahead? Oh my gosh, Potato! Potato saves the round. Chaos cannot stick it. Oh my goodness. He's going to go ahead and save this round for Team Nanners on the T side. 3v1 situation, impossible odds. And he was on the opposite side of, of the site. Like, how do you even run all the way over there? <laughs> oh my gosh. That's going to be a heartbreaker. That could possibly be the game. Dio Tobias takes down A1 Nanners, trying to go ahead and cover his teammates, and that's going to be a quick round for the T's.
This is extremely rough. A1 trying to go ahead and get that molly down early. Does do some damage on the sloth. Is he gonna quick peek though? A1's gonna go ahead and punish him, but gets traded out immediately by Marker Cop. Quack gonna pick over here, and Ivy as well. Now we got Potato and Marker Cop in a 1 or 2v4 situation. Marker Cop with the two piece right now. KS Squinty. Goes down immediately. 3v2 situation. So crack takes down Potato. Marker Cop instantly trades. Marker Cop just going ham right this second. He's not going to go ahead and clutch it for the ace. CTs are going to go ahead and get back on the board for this half. Dragon Boy, can I be in this? Oh, dude, man, you saw the title of the stream earlier. The matchmaking Monday was at 7 p.m. You missed your opportunity to play. I used to do this all the time, but uh, we're seeing how it is. Like, if more people show up on matchmaking Monday, then we'll probably have more people. We'll probably start doing this again. So we'll go ahead. We'll probably we'll probably schedule for uh, not next Monday because we got family over, but probably the Monday after that. Actually, I'm pretty sure I'm working Cyber Monday. I'm actually really glad that I'm getting a, a lot of days off next next week because it's going to be a busy week for work next week. Slaw takes down Satanic Jesus. Satanic Jesus trying to get a little cheeky with the push. Does not matter. Tato just running over everybody. Alpha Thought, 1v2 situation. Gets the other one. Does not know Dito is lurking. On the other side of sight. I don't think he has any idea where he is. And he's going to go ahead and leave bomb control. I don't even think he knew what the, he had the bomb. And Dino still hasn't picked up the bomb. Dito thinks he's still on site. But Alpha thought Alpha thought has no idea that Dito does not have the bomb. He's going over to B. 27 seconds left. These guys are clueless. Absolutely clueless right now. And Dito's gonna go ahead and probably pick up the bomb and go ahead and plant it with 15 seconds left on the clock. Alpha thought's about to see the site and see that it's completely empty. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Oh no, Alpha thought he's been duped. He's been duped, chat. <laughs> he does have a smoke, and he does have two flashes, though. This is a very winnable situation. He does have the kit. Smoke is there. Dito's gonna go for the peak immediately. But the smoke does not land where he wanted to. Oh, there's no time on this clock. He has no time. And Dito's going to go ahead and save the round. Alvathon has been completely duped by an accident. <laughs> and that's going to go ahead. 13 rounds for Team Nanners. Oh, my goodness. That was hard to watch. That was heartbreaking. Rest in peace. You guys are definitely not seeing me move the uh, MM Matchmaking Monday thing over here on the on the right hand side of your corner of my screen. <laughs> oh my god, that was so rough. The CTs have definitely got to be shattered for sure. Chaos Squinty definitely ticked off. Satanic Jesus goes for the peak, but it's probably not the wisest decision. Playing with only playing with only pistols, you know. Dito goes with the flashbang. He's gonna go ahead and entry on the site. The rest of CTs are already rotating over to B, actually. Oh, oh, is the timing gonna be that bad? 
Oh my goodness. <coughs> Barely misses it. Oh no. It's just falling apart. Quack can't get the kill. And that's going to be 14 to 6. One more round to put Team Nanners on match point. And the CTs need nine rounds in order to catch up and win the game. Eight rounds to tie it up, period. No, they need, uh, sorry, they need, they need ten rounds to win. They need nine rounds to tie it up. Oh, man, Satan Jesus loses on this side as well. And the A1 gets blown up. What is going on here? Oh, my gosh. I can't even handle it now. I thought it was going to get cleaned up. Oh, man, I hate to say it, but this is probably the end of the game. Oh, my goodness. Shattered morale all around. This is only warm up, right? I'm not trying 100%. Oh, God, quack, go away. <laughs> Fifteen to six, forced by Satan Jesus with one thousand dollars, no utility, still all game, zero utility. Quack gets caught by the loving arms of Coach Sloth, that cuddly man, and that's gonna go ahead and end the game. Team Nanners is gonna go ahead and take it. That was definitely a rough match to watch. Can someone screenshot the um? the scoreboard I want to have that for record purposes but uh, yeah definitely definitely rough case had a 10 kill around that was a nice swarm and after the real game <laughs> well, I'm not sure if you recall but we only do one of these <laughs> I use utilities first half smoke fire and flash I'm just bad dude I can count um, the amount of uh, rounds that you did not buy utility on both of my hands <laughs> But I mean, like I said, you, I mean, like we're, like we were talking about, like you haven't been playing forever, so I mean that's obviously something that could have just been you know forgotten. But it's definitely something I was talking about throughout the stream. I was just like, Satanic Jesus once again doesn't buy. It. He has twenty six hundred dollars in the bank, has zero utility. What is going on? <laughs> Quick maths, yes. All right, so thanks to our beautiful friend Boltsan. Can I just like view this as, you know, the picture, please? Hello. Hello. All right, so we had Nanners and Coach Sloth, both Cornerstone alumni, topping it off for their team, 22 frags each. And Chaos Squint, TF, the A1, top fraggers on their end, on their side. And then Potato. Potato actually went ham. And then Marker Cop. Marker Cop's actually need a uh, matchmaking Monday as well as Alpha Thought, but they both got frags in. They, you know, they didn't, uh, they didn't, I guess you can say choke on their, on their premiere or their uh, debut matchmaking Monday appearance. <laughs> Dia DeBias, 15 kills. He was going ham on the op on A site for sure. But uh, go ahead and bring in somebody from the losing end. Go ahead and bring in the thought. Alpha thought, man. What happened on the what happened on train, man? I don't want to talk about this. We have to talk about it. This is your first interview on Matchmaking Monday. Cool. Oh. Um well the strats didn't go quite as planned. Um just a slight miscalculation there. Was there uh, communication issues throughout the entirety or just like, you know, this uh, like <laughs> T-side, we started off good, like, communications were fine, strats were going the way we wanted them to. Uh, it's just, like, once we got to CT, we were so far down, losing pistol on a 1v3 doesn't help. Yeah, that was, uh, that was definitely rough to watch. Um, I think Potato was on the opposite side of B-site. He was, like, all the way on the other trains and literally ran all the way up, killed Chaos at, like, point, like, three seconds and saved the round. Like, I, that was insane. To watch actually i think that pretty much closed the uh, the game out after that happened yeah i'm so. not sure why or what happened there but that's about it 
Oh, and Gaz has Gaz has a question in chat. Um, what happened? Did you know you had bomb like on I, on A site? Did. You so, did. The, the thought behind this, okay? I got the two quick kills there <laughs> to turn the one v three into one v one. Uh huh. Knowing he was coming from B, so he was already on B. Knew B was clear. Knew I was on A. Well, here's the Instant here's the thing. Reaction behind that. I, oh, I thought I was playing him. Oh, I literally I, thought that I was like, oh, yeah, this this is perfect. He's gonna grab the bomb. I'm walking the entire way. He has no clue where I went. Dude, he was actually on site after you got the second kill. He was on the opposite side of the bomb train, and he was just really quiet. And then he was literally looking for you. He literally like searched like all the trains and stuff, waiting for you to peek. And we were just like watching, switching the camera back and forth. And we're just like, oh god, what is this happening right now? He has no idea. And then we saw you like park at B. I'm like, oh man, he thinks it's at B. Oh man. And then he just grabs the bomb, plants it. And then we That's saw your we saw your miss smoke, unfortunately, on the on the bomb as well. Didn't look yeah. like it bounced far enough. No, I didn't. But I thought the dude definitely was on B, though. Is that what? Because the guy behind me died. Yeah, no, no. What's cool? Cause, yeah, because you killed him, and then uh, and then Dito literally was on the other side, and he was just like, I think he was just waiting for you to like, you know, peek corners or something like that, because he was like right there. And I'm just like, oh man, what the heck? And then I didn't know if Dito knew he had the bomb, honestly. <laughs> no offense, Dito, but I like he was just like the bomb was just sitting right there, and I'm like, man, he like he probably thinks Alpha Thoughts like you know has the bomb. He's probably holding the angle to watch it. No. But oh man, that was a that was a weird round. Yeah, I knew I had bomb. I just thought I could outplay him and out mind game him and. Figured he'd go B with it. <coughs> yeah, that was pretty nice. Especially nuts. if he sat there and thought that like, if he was on A, then he definitely should have went B knowing I killed him. Yeah, for sure. Well, um, yeah, it's unfortunate um, on your guys' team. 16-6, I mean... Yeah, matchmaking Monday usually it's uh usually it's a little one sided. It's gonna be either a blowout or it's gonna be a really close game. We've had some close games before, like double, like triple overtime at one point. But um, yeah, we will um, hopefully get matchmaking Monday going at least in the online viewer matchmaking at least uh, every other Monday or every Monday. Not next Monday because my mom's gonna be in town, so I'm gonna be hanging out with her. Mama issues. Exactly. But um, the, probably the Monday after that, we'll probably get another matchmaking Monday because it seems like a handful of people had fun, so that's good. <laughs> Five people had fun. <laughs> I had fun. I just, eh. yeah. I well, didn't warm up. It's also, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, I didn't warm up. It was just a bad time. <laughs> right. Well, I'm gonna go oh, kick you back no, out and uh, bring in somebody from the other team. Bye. Bye. <laughs> and then we have Marco Cop. This is oh, your hey, first matchmaking fun. Monday, man. Yeah. Dude, it's how, fun. you just have fun. Um, dude, uh, you guys look like you were just having really good communication throughout. You and Bolts, um, aka Coach Sloth, were just holding down the B site on CT side. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, they're easy to work with, you know. Everyone yeah. uh, talks all the time. You know, it was funny. We didn't even really want train. So when Nanos <laughs> got back, all we did was a. Uh, <laughs> Like everyone just read constantly. Oh, actually, yeah, I actually hopped in the Discord channel for a second. All I hear potato is just all like, I don't know, I'm not ready for this. <laughs> and then he oh, ends up picking up the Nova. Like, um, like you weren't here for previous ma like um matchmaking Mondays, but potato, he was known for having the worst internet, and he was also known for always picking up the Nova for some reason. And he would do really well and get a ton of money. Like he had, I think one of those, he had like seventy six hundred like in the bank and i'm just like what the heck it was nuts <laughs> <laughs> they'll never doubt me I again i could have seen that yeah but um no i mean i uh, on, on the uh on the opposite team what was uh what were, what were the things that you guys like kind of noticed you were just taking advantage of on their end because i mean it looks like you guys like it looks like they are they kept trying to play for picks and you guys you know just kept winning those aim duels like was there anything on their end that you guys kind of just like kept taking advantage of or was it just completely like winning aim duels like over and over each round uh for me mainly the aim duels but um after a while, their plays started getting kind of predictable because they would hold, you know, regular angles, never right. really an off, off angle. So at least the people I fought anyways. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, um, there was an instant, like, they had issues on T side that I saw that they started taking advantage of Ivy. And every single time they went Ivy, like... They actually, and like, when there was their whole team, or at least four of them, and exploded out on them, they actually 
um, took a, like advantage of your guys is like you know a site um yeah and then but but then they stopped doing that like every single time they're grouped together you know and explode on a site which is funny because they're most of the time they did that they were on an eco um mm-hmm. they'd actually get control site and they get bombed down but then they get guns and then start playing for picks it's like man imagine if you have those guns you know, exploded on a site. Oh, that game could have went way different. Exactly. But I don't think that's something they picked up on, unfortunately. And, you know, that, but, uh, because that's something I noticed. I was just like, man, they, they, they blow up on the site. They, they go out with an eco and they actually get control of the site and get bombed down. This, but, I mean, that's something that, you know, the, you guys, the, you have to take a time out and kind of like analyze the you know, situation. But, you know, I mean, if, if, you know, communication's bad on the other team and whatnot. You know, that's yeah. not going to be something. Some, there's a lot of rational thinking kind of just goes out the window. So it's not like, you know, we need to call timeout. We need to, like, catch a breather. We need to figure out what's going on. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, man. Um, no, congratulations to your guys' team. Um, Thank this you. Is a, this was a special event. But, um, you know, obviously if people are, are going to be interested and actually be excited for, you know, playing a matchmaking Monday again, then we'll go ahead and start doing it. And like I said in the previous interview, we're not going to be doing it next monday um because well actually shoot now that i think of it we're probably not going to be doing it for a couple mondays so probably the, <laughs> the, the probably the next matchmaking monday we'll probably schedule that for the third of december primarily because the 19th i got my i got family in town so i won't be able to go and do that and then the 26th is cyber monday and i'm pretty sure i'm gonna get scheduled to work so <laughs> can't uh, really do that good. yeah <laughs> so it's gonna be a busy day and i'm gonna be too exhausted to probably uh go ahead and schedule matchmaking monday <laughs> press cool. f but yeah oh yeah for sure no f f in the chat for uh stan lee f to pay respects uh sad 95 years old man freaking legend still find a way to make cameos i guarantee it oh dude yeah i i, I bet you after he saw star wars he's probably like you guys can go ahead and do that that's animate fine me. animate, animate me, me. <laughs> <laughs> animate me where's peter parker <laughs> But yeah, have, uh, glad you had fun. Um, I'm actually gonna probably go ahead and you get, if you guys want, I'm not sure if anyone wants to volunteer to opt out, but I'm down to go ahead and play a match. I know I'm definitely having you play in Markov, whether you're on my team or not, because not I know really. we've been wanting to play Counter Strike. Um, so um, we're gonna go ahead and do the first first eight for first eight to say yo <laughs> to play. 